og hlakka til að sjá okkur vonandi á öðru váir flugi. En þangað til þá, þá segi bara takk fyrir og góða nótt. Dear guests, we're welcome to Keflavik, Iceland. Here the local time is 15 minutes to uh, 5 o'clock and the outside temperature is, uh, well, yeah, freezing 2 degrees Celsius. I'd like to teach you a few words in Icelandic, how to say thank you and goodbye is uh, tak or bless. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm back in the car from the Blue Lagoon. Um, it, 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 it is a nice experience. Um, I have a little headache right now, and I think it's because of lack of water. But I do have some water here, so I have been drinking it. A um, couple of tidbits to, you know, think about. Um, they do have when you first walk in after you um get your wristband and everything um you walk into like the changing area you take your shoes off they have a little storage place but um i kept my shoes and then put them in the locker um but otherwise you just put your shoes there and then leave them there and then when you come back but i'm just i don't know i kind of feel like somebody might take my shoes anyway um so after you do that then you go to the shower and you are completely nude and you take a shower um and then if you want to put the conditioner and stuff in your hair i did not um this isn't mine anyway but um <clears throat> i knew i wasn't planning to really get my hair wet um so you take a shower you go back you put your bathing suit on and then you go outside and then so there's a little area on the side where you get into the water and then kind of walk out um, so it's still in the building when you get in the water and then that water's kind of cool Cool Warm or whatever and then you go outside you open the door and then you go outside um, We walk straight out um, Into the cold and it is cold Got into the water um, And there are certain hot spots like where the water is really really nice good and hot and then there's other places where it's just kind of I don't even want to say warm it's kind of like that cool warm where mm, i know i didn't want to stay in that pocket for too long um we stayed in there for maybe two hours um our call time was at four we got here around four um it took maybe 15 to 30 15 to 30 minutes i would say to check in and to change and all that stuff i know for me it took a little longer because i got lost it's two changing rooms downstairs for the women and i couldn't figure out how to get back to the lagoon i ended back up at the front and then um i had to put my towel back in the locker and because they have like these little racks where you put your robe if you have a robe or your towel and i was just nervous that somebody was going to take it so mm, i left it in the um locker but it took me forever to find the locker and then to get back out again <sighs> so whatever but um i enjoyed it the only thing that was kind of cr really crazy too was um as i was getting out the water because we came inside and we were still in the water when we were inside so then we i was walking out and i swear i felt like i weighed an extra hundred pounds I felt so heavy my legs was so heavy it's the craziest thing ever um, but after I started walking around a little bit and everything I felt normal again I don't know if that's normal but that's what happened to me um, another thing it does smell putrid out here however I'm out here now and I really don't smell it as much so I don't know, maybe you get used to the smell. Now I will say once you're inside the Blue Lagoon, I don't think it smelled bad. Maybe a couple of times when the wind blew really hard or something. Other than that, did it smell just as bad in there? It didn't smell uh, like that, did no, it? No, it wasn't bad. No. It didn't smell bad. It really didn't.
I'm not getting pictures. <laughs> 